Frugalsim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal, and this is a bit of a departure from the norm for me. This is Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, the precursor game to Rebel Galaxy that launched a couple of years ago from Double Damage Games. Rebel Galaxy Outlaw is available tomorrow on the Epic Game Store. Now, it's a departure because this is a game. It has sim aspects, but it's not really a sim. And I'm covering it, though, because I've just been very excited about this. Those of you who have been gaming, flying, simming long enough and are familiar with the Privateer series, which was obviously influenced by Elite way back in the day, this you can think of as the spiritual successor to Privateer. It's a full story-based space thing. Bit of a sandbox. You can do whatever you want. There is a full story running through it as well. And it's just fun guys it's just really 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 awesome fun i'm at the opening screen here because i didn't want to jump straight into a game first i wanted to show you this if we go into new game you have a number of different starts you can do normal veteran or sim so in sim mode you'll see when i'm playing currently in normal mode and in normal mode there is assistance for aiming and flying the ship and it just makes it a whole lot more fun if you want to turn that off and really master your craft this is kind of the sim mode is ready for the guys that fly full time with flight assist off in elite dangerous that's what sim is for and an old school no flight or aim assistance it's it's true full-on old school you can grab your hotats and configure that thing to work with this just fine and treat it like a hardcore space sim if you really really want to i'm not doing that i'm doing a, just a standard game now i've got about 12 or 15 hours with this so not really a first impressions i have just been playing it and playing it and playing it i do love it let me get in and show you what it's all about now if you're not familiar with the privateer series you can think of it as a kind of constrained elite or elite dangerous. You don't have a galaxy that is millions and billions of systems wide. It is not as high fidelity in terms of graphics and flight model as something like Star Citizen. It's a lot smaller than all of that. So you have stations littered about. Now this, this is what I absolutely adore about this. You have these stations littered about. There is a full trading system. So all I can see here are the goods that are traded by this particular station. So if I go to the other stations, they're going to have different lineups of goods here and I may or may not be able to sell what I'm currently carrying. So if you want to undertake life in space as a trader, a lot of similarities with Elite Dangerous and all that stuff, you can. Similarly, you can go into the equipment bay. I've got this ship that I was given at the start of my story. Now that but that young lady, by the way, is Juno Markev. She is the female protagonist of the game. Yes, you play as a girl, get over it. It's 2019. You will remember if you played Rebel Galaxy though, Juno is in that as an older lady. She's your aunt and there's a whole story rowing around getting in touch with her and fulfilling missions for her. Well, in this game, you're playing as her. And it's kind of cool. She's a bit of a badass. But anyway, I was talking about trading. What you can do is you can go in here for example, into my weapons, and I can change this. There should be somewhere in here. I thought I had a mining laser. What is a utility laser? Limited comp. No, I thought I saw mine. Yeah, we go. Mining lasers. So you can be a miner in this, just as you can in any other games if you want to. You can be a pirate in this. You can be a bounty hunter in this. Just as with the bigger space games like Elite Dangerous, you can choose your path. But there is a hardcore story running through it, and that story does force you down a certain path, which I'm not going to cover. Not going to give any spoilers away. There's a spaceship dealer. Once you get enough money, it takes a while to get some money. Like I said, I've got about 12, 12 to 15 hours in this so far. Then you can go to the dealer and start looking at the other spaceships. Currently, I'm flying the Platypus, which was donated to me at the start of the game by a friend in the game. He's a friend in the, in the story of the game, right? So he donates this to me. That's my starter ship. It's basically a box with guns. And then I can pop in here. And if I wanted, I can go and get a Sandhawk. And everything in this, all the interactions, in space and on the stations are fully scripted. Check this out. Welcome. See anything that catches your eye? I'm in the market for some new wings. I don't know, though. This might be out of my price range. You know quality when you see it. Fast, maneuverable, and mean. The Sandhawk is an absolute bargain and perfect for the Merc on a budget. What do you say? Are you ready to take the plunge? So all of these ships, you can tailor them however you want. As you just saw, I can uh, equip them yeah. with oh, different lasers, different power plants, different shields, different armor, just as you can in all the other space games. It's just lightweight here, I guess is the best way of putting it. This is cool though. There's a bar. Every space station has a bar and there are different things you can do in the bar. There are full mini games built into this. You'll find a game of asteroids that you can play. I have wasted so much time and money playing pool 
in the bars because the pool sim in this is absolutely out of this world. It's crazy. But you got dice poker so as well. So let's go play a little bit of dice hey. poker here. So she wants me to stake 1,750, which is a bit high, but we'll do it. Let's see what you got. Dice poker is just five dice trying to get a good hand. So there's my dice roll. Die rolls. I've got a full house already. And she has three of a kind. So I'm just going to stay. She's going to roll, re-roll two dice. That didn't help her. She's got four of a kind now. I'm going to stay. Please don't get another jack. She didn't. I win. Damn. No, I lost. She got four of a kind. Four That's of a kind beats a full house. Who knew? Anyway. So various games like that, I have lost a small fortune Sorry. playing this. Now, all okay. the sectors in the game are kind of modeled after American states like Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, and places like that. So there is a Nevada state. Obviously, Nevada in the real world is Nevada in the real world is home to Vegas. And in the game, it's home to various casinos as well, where you can lose even more money if you're so inclined. There are two guilds that you can join as well. I'm currently a member of the Merchants Guild. And the Merchants Guild will give you exclusive missions, which are usually quite high paying. You can see this one. They want me to go and buy 24 units of soy paste. My ship's not big enough to carry that and transport them over there and I'll get 40 grand. Or this one, they want me to go and buy 23 units of Greal whiskey. I actually don't even know where the hell to get that. And then I'll get paid over 100 grand. Obviously, these are very, very, very tricky to do. There's a risky cargo run here, which I will probably take actually. No, I can't carry 12 ceramics. Hang about. What is this one? 12 ceramics. Ugh. So I can't take any of those. There's an Assassin's or, sorry, a Mercenaries Guild here where you can join and do hunt and kill missions if you want to. There's a mission board, which is general missions available to all. You can see here, I've actually just done a pirate mission that I probably shouldn't have done, but I did. So that's cool. And you can go to the bar and you can speak to the bartender. Take a seat, friend. And then you can get advice from him or her about what's going on as well. Yeah, I get tipped off from time. So she wants me to pay her 840 credits. Yeah, and she will upload the coordinates to a prime else? bounty in this quadrant. So let's go and find that bounty. So to do that, by the way, what I'm doing, I'm playing this with a gamepad. And I was going to do this playthrough in this video using my full thrust, motor, thrust master Hotas. Um, Travis in his videos introducing the game advises against that and I've got to agree with him it's a ton of fun just playing with a gamepad it's actually really really cool anyway playing with the gamepad the B button cancels everything so if I go to concourse I can hit B and cancel out if I'm at the launch pad here I can hit B and launch and then it's an animation that will play now and I can cancel this animation you can cancel anything that you don't want to spend time doing with that B button which is a very neat design uh, principle to build in here now oh music has just started Threes and eights, my friend. music has just started let me show you the music this has 40 hours no 24 hours 400 tracks of music built in it ranging from the stinger here which is kind of rock uh, and then we've got spark which is classical and then we've got the jackal that stuff lariat Grinder, Scorpion, Latin, Backbeat, or Turn It Off. You can put in your own music as well. If you're a streamer or a YouTuber such as what I am, you can enable a stream-friendly setting. So if you get any copyright strikes, then you can just go to uh, Double Damage Games' website and cut and paste their text into your appeal that you file with the YouTubes or the Twitches and get your strike overturned, which is kind of cool. So on this menu here, we can do all sorts of stuff. We can take a screenshot. We can capture a video if I want to. There's a local map. So this is the local map. And I can see here, here's my bounty coordinates. This is a mission that I'm supposed to be doing. And I can quickly move through all these using the gamepad if I want to. It's kind of cool. Everything is designed around getting you to do whatever you want to do as quickly as possible. It is awesome. I'm going to choose that bounty. There is also a local system map here. And I can't currently see anything. But what I can do is run a scan. Now, if there's anything in the local system, it will show up down here. There, there's a couple of, sh there's, there's another ship there. So there's a cargo ship, he's a freighter, he's carrying soy paste and gold ore. So you saw those missions saying source things like soy paste. I could find the cargo ship if I want to and get them to drop their cargo, which I'm not going to do. But if I did want to do that, I would just fire up the comms menu here, go through to the ship I want to do, and I could say drop your cargo and start threatening and intimidating them, which is kind of cool. You'll notice that when you go into the comms menu, the game kind of slows down. It's kind of a slow-mo mode to give you a bit of a, a chance to figure out what the heck you're going to say. I've been doing a lot of missions where I'm running blockades and my ship is not really well armed to do that but I have boosted the power of the engine so I'm pretty much running 
as soon as I get uh, interdicted by the bad guys. So it's cool, I can fire up this uh, uh, comms system here and the game kind of slows down. It gives me a few seconds extra to fire off that. Please don't shoot me a message before I get blown out of the sky. Let's go find this pirate. In space, everything is built around A. And I'm talking about gamepad use. Obviously, you can go into the full sim mode with your hotas and that's just fine. I'm trying to have fun. Everything is built around A, so I can point at anything and press and hold the A button and it will typically do something. So if it was cargo in space, it would track the beam within. If it's a, if it's a waypoint like this, I can press and hold A. Boom. And away we go. Well, well. Oh, there's a bad guy. We got here. So. This is where the help stuff comes in. Oh god, he's gonna really, really hurt me. I'm holding the left trigger. And what it will do is it will position my ship so I'm pointing at the bad guy and then I can use the left stick to fine tune my aim if I wish to. But this is actually, it seemed to me when I first started this, like this is gonna be a cheat. This is not a cool way to play. The game's doing everything for you. No, not at all. It is absolutely brilliant. It's a, 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 a really inspired design choice. It is so cool. Because you can just focus on doing what you need to do and let the ship take care of what it needs to do, which is great. But if you want to go into that hardcore sim mode, you can, and then everything will be done for you. Now, he's eight clicks away. I'm trying to boost into him. By the way, on that menu, just like in Elite Dangerous, I can change my engine, weapons, shields, and so on, which is awesome. Whoa! Look behind you. Look behind you or in front, in this case. There we go. Now, even with that auto follow mode on, you can still use that left stick to fine tune the aim, which is kind of cool. Now, he did drop some cargo. So I'm going to try and find it. There it is. Vat grown tissues. Where is it? There it is. Trying to get close. Hold down the A key. I got it. I think. Yep, yeah, it's contraband though. Oops. And then we have stolen freight, which obviously is contraband. I was playing this game as a bit of a goody two shoes and not breaking the law. In the past couple of hours, I've decided to say, screw it. I'm going to break the law and I'm having a blast doing so. What is going on here? Anything else here? That's the next mission, which is part of the story missions. So I'm not going to get into that. What I do want to do is find a station. That's where I was, which has other stuff in it, like poor. This is Cavaleros, I think. Yeah, this is a gas station. They have a jump drive. And when you start the game, you don't have a jump drive. But later on, you do. And Cavaleros is where you'll gas up. It's basically a gas station. Pirate Lord has been sighted there. Mixed agriculture. They are selling dried yik yak, which I'm always on the lookout for. I don't know what it is, but a lot of the missions need it. Let's go there. So point, hold A, and away we go. And I can skip this little pre-rendered animation if I so choose. Now my jump here got interrupted because of a distress beacon. So let's go and find out what that's about. Point at it, hold down A. All right. Pirates. Here we go. Oh, lots of pirates. Okay, let's boost in. Get closer. Try to fine tune that aim a bit. Man. And once we start, we should get him, it's just a little jackrabbit. Up another one. Now I mentioned the music earlier on, tons of music, it's actually really cool. It's Dark Country, um, mainly, there is techno stuff in there, but it's mainly Dark Country and it really fits. It's it's very similar to the soundtrack on Rebel Galaxy, if you're familiar with that game. It's, it's kind of an, really awesome. And I love that this is a developer that has taken the time to license tracks that we can use on our YouTube videos and live streams. That is beyond thoughtful and smart. Welcome to the age of the social media influencer. Launch my missile! Now obviously I do have the starter ship here but I have upgraded a lot because like I said I've been playing it quite a while. I'm doing pretty good in these fights because my guns have been upgraded and my missiles are not the standard missiles. Just bear that in mind. Don't ram the ship. I'm gonna take off the target hold. There we go. Oh gosh, let's see if we can do here. If I'm lucky, I'll get a reward from the ship I'm helping. Come on, lock, lock. For helping him out with these pirates. There he is. Come on, die, die, die. Like oh look, swarm missiles he launched. Then nasty. Oh, I'm out of power on his weapons. Then recharge a bit. Got him. Bye bye. Ass out of the fire. Here's something for your trouble. Here's something for my trouble. I got 4,000 credits. So now I can scan around. There's an ejected pirate. So we can get a bounty by tractoring him in and selling him. <laughs> At the space station that I was planning to head to. There we go. Tractor time. Boink. Anything else? That's it. Let's head back to where I was going. 
which is there. Autopilot now. I'm gonna skip this time. And we should be at the station. I can always get worried when it takes a while to load like this. It means maybe bad guys. But no, no, we're doing good. All right, let's boost in here. This is a planetary system. So I've got to go through this gate and then land on a planet. Control, your request is granted. Please proceed to the designated bay. Here we go. Kind of cool. I'll show you a jump. Jump in. Pretty neat, huh? And again, all of this is skippable. If you just want to get on with the game, just keep smacking the B button and skip absolutely everything. Love that to bits. So I got some money there because I sold the uh, pirate that I tracked a beamed in, refilling my missiles. Spent quite a lot of money there. Let's go to the bar. Please have Paul. Paul! There it is. Watch this. And I'm probably going to cut this because it might go on a while. Greetings. Now, these How guys... The the by the way, that guy speaking is Travis, the developer. Sure. These guys, sometimes good. they won't play you for money. They'll play you for ship Final components, which is a great way to build up your ship when you first start playing the game, which is kind of cool. Mm. He's going first. I love this. And I can, like, fast forward this as well. Look. So he gets another shot. He, we've still got an open board. So he's going solids. Look at that. I'm going to get owned. Which means I'm striped. So he's got another shot. <sighs> and another shot. Yeah, this, this guy was the wrong guy to pick a fight with. Look at this. I'm getting my face owned off in the game of Paul. He's almost clearing the table. All right, now it's my turn. Okay, this is cool. Watch this. So I've got... I can move... This is all with the left stick on a gamepad. I can move the view here. And, and I would actually consider this... You know what? I can cover this on this channel because this is a sim of Paul. Now I can pull back my cue with the right stick and move it forward. I can even... Um, hit the ball by rapidly moving the right stick or I can press the right trigger to actually go ahead and take the shot so let's put it about there Doink. got it and you have a lot of control you can put left and right up and down you have top and back spin on the ball as well when you take these shots which is thoughtful beyond thoughtful let's take let's see if we can do this one does that look good I'm not sure but we'll try it let's go about there no, I missed. Oh, I'm going to put the white ball down. <sighs> All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me just fast forward him as much as I can. He's going to win, obviously. I could lose the game straight away just by... You can't B button out of this one, by the way. <laughs> I could lose the game by putting the eight ball down if I want to, which I might do. I'm probably going to even fail at doing that. No, I will. <sighs> okay. He's going to go straight on the eight ball. Game over for him. Lost 1,300 credits. Oh, well. Oh, come on. Ah, don't fret now. I've plenty of time to let you try to win your credits back. I love I the should... voice acting in this game. Uh, absolutely love it. Adore it. Anyway, so that's it. That, that's really it. That's, that's Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Oh, there's another menu up here. Very old school where you can see the controls, but also more importantly, you can see how your ship is doing, your mission log, and then over here, what the heck? I have stolen stuff, I forgot all about that. But over here as well, you can see, or, you know, this is where you view what's going on around the game. And then if I were to get out in space, which I don't want to do, let me see if I can sell what I'm carrying. Nope. Okay, let me get in space. I'll show you a few more of those menus that are on the Y button. I said I'd show you a jump, didn't I? Let me, let me do that. Hit the Y key. There's the sector map. So straight away at the start of the game, you can see everything that's everywhere. You know, there's nothing really hidden here. And you can select any of these things. I'm actually using the mouse for this, which is kind of weird. This is the only weirdness, and maybe this will get fixed before tomorrow's launch. But you can choose these other systems and set them as a, a kind of a waypoint by clicking with the mouse or by moving the mouse around. Or, you know, it's, it's showing you the route to get to these, which is kind of cool. But this is it. This is the galaxy. It's not like Elite Dangerous or anything like that. It is quite constrained, but it's it's just fine. And it's a lot of good fun. So I am currently in, I guess, Montana. Is that right? So let's go to Mississippi. So let's get out of that. We'll go over here. And somewhere around here. We've got to find a jump gate that puts us down into Mississippi. The red one's obviously a little bit worrisome. That's the Dutch jump gate. I don't know where that goes. Let's go there. 
Oh, it's on the other side of the planet. No, it's not. It's up here. Love the soundtrack of this game. So it's going to boost away from everything. I can't currently jump. And I go wash myself as well, because I actually am a huge fan of nearly everything in this soundtrack. I want to keep singing along. Disengaged by craft proximity. There's crap here. Ah! <laughs> Or Destination reached. Here we go. Dutch game. So entering the area. I just get close to it, a little A menu is going to pop up saying jump, I'm pressing hold to jump, here's a jump. Just like in Privateer. Oh, bad guys. Are those bad guys? What? No, those are, I don't know what they are, hang about. So I am there at a risky jump gate. So what are those things? I guess those are more risky jump games? What the heck? What is that? Huh. As you can see, there's a lot to do, a lot to figure out, a lot to explore. That, in a nutshell, is Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. It is phenomenal. If you're a huge fan of space games, like Elite Dangerous, like Star Citizen, and if you are old enough to have some gaming taste and enjoy the likes of Privateer, this is a must buy. Sim nuts out there, which is pretty much all of you watching my channel, you're going to enjoy this too. And I think you're going to be surprised to find you actually enjoy playing it with the gamepad, as I currently am. But if you really want to turn on the full HOTAS support and put it into full hardcore sim mode, you can do that too and give yourself a huge challenge. I wouldn't recommend it. It's a ton of fun just playing as it is. Why can't I go anywhere in this system? I will find out off camera. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon. See ya.